In the bustling town of South Tacloban, nestled on the island province of Leyte in the Philippines, lived a woman named Neves Fernandez. She was known far and wide as a dedicated and passionate teacher, tirelessly nurturing the minds of the young generation. Her classroom was a haven of knowledge, a place where dreams took root and flourished. As World War II cast its ominous shadow over the archipelago, life changed dramatically for the inhabitants of Tacloban. The Japanese army descended upon the Philippines, bringing fear and uncertainty to the people. Amidst the chaos, Neves Fernandez found herself at a crossroads, facing a choice that would redefine her life. Witnessing the injustices and brutality inflicted upon her fellow Filipinos by the occupying forces, Neves's heart was filled with a burning desire for justice. She saw her students and their families suffering, and the teacher in her evolved into something more profound. With a heavy heart, she realized that she had a duty beyond the classroom. As the sun set over the town one fateful evening, Neves donned a new identity, that of a secret resistance fighter. With her knowledge of the town's nooks and crannies, she became a stealthy phantom, striking against Japanese soldiers and collaborators who had oppressed her people. Her transformation was complete, and she became the silent avenger her town needed. Her missions were daring and dangerous, and as Shadow Rose, her code name among the resistance, she became legendary among those who yearned for freedom. She delivered critical messages, gathered intelligence, and even orchestrated strategic disruptions, all while maintaining her facade as a humble teacher by day. She was a skilled marksman and bolo fighter. Fernandez would gain the respect of native locals, lead men into battle, and was so successful in taking out Japanese patrols that the Japanese military stationed in the city. She commanded 110 natives who killed more than 200 Japanese with knives and shotguns made from sections of gas pipe. But the path of a secret assassin was not without its sacrifices. The weight of her double life bore heavily on Neves' shoulders. The lies, the secrets, and the constant danger threatened to consume her. Yet, she pressed on, fueled by the unwavering hope of a liberated Philippines. The tides of war eventually shifted, and as the Japanese forces weakened, the people's resilience grew stronger. The Philippines reclaimed its freedom, and the town of Tacloban erupted in jubilation. Amid the celebrations, Neves Fernandez shed her shadowy persona and emerged once again as the beloved teacher who had inspired generations. Years passed, and the stories of Shadow Rose began to fade into local legend. Her legacy lived on, a testament to the remarkable journey of the woman who had transformed from a teacher to an unlikely hero during the darkest days of history.